Hey everyone and welcome back to another Tuesday tip where in this video I'm going to be showing you how to cut your BMX handlebars. So when it comes to BMX handlebars, sometimes the specific handlebars you want to buy come in a length that is wider than what you prefer to ride or the complete bike you buy comes with bars that are wider than what you might like or you just might find that your handlebars feel too wide and you'd like to go a bit shorter. It's a fairly straightforward and simple process but for a beginner who's jumping right into it, there are a few mistakes that can be made and a mistake made while cutting your handlebars can turn into an expensive one very quickly. So in this video, I'm gonna run through everything that you need to know to use a hacksaw to cut your handlebars to the size that you prefer. So with that being said, let's go over to the bench vise. Before we begin, let's talk about the tools that are necessary to cut your BMX handlebars. The first thing for obvious reasons is a tape measure. Then after that, I'm going to be using the Park Tool SG6. This is a saw guide for fork steer tubes and handlebars that goes directly into a bench vise. Then after that, for very obvious reasons as well, we're going to need a hacksaw. And to finish up the job after we get our bars cut, we're going to need a file to file down any sharp edges. And with that being said, let's move into our bars and let's begin the process. So the first thing that we want to do is measure our current handlebar size. Currently, these handlebars are 29 inches wide. I prefer my handlebars to be 28 and a half inches wide. So that means that we need to take off a half inch total from the width of these bars. And when you're doing that, you don't want to take off a half inch from each side because then you're taking off one inch total. So that means that what we need to do and what you need to do when you're cutting your bars is to figure out the amount that you want to take off total from your bars and then cut it in half. And that is what you measure whenever you're marking where you're trying to cut. So if I'm trying to take off a half inch total, that means we want to cut that in half and we want to mark at the one quarter inch mark on the bars. It's really not that much, so we probably could get away with not cutting these bars, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. And so next what you wanna do, if you're using the saw guide method, and I prefer to use this method because of how simple it is, and it's such a great tool to get a great cut on your bars, all you have to do is line up the saw guide with your cut mark and tighten it down. Looks like we're lined up here. So at this point, I'm going to take the bars out of the vise the way that we have it, get rid of the padded magnet parts of things, and I'm going to clamp this down. Okay, so to give you guys a little bit better of a look, I rearranged things so that the camera could see them better. But basically, once you get your bars marked and your saw guide lined up, all you have to do is take your saw, put it into the guide, and start cutting. One thing that's worth mentioning here while cutting the bars is that you don't absolutely have to have a saw guide to do this and you can do this with your bars on your bike. But one thing to think about is that it is very hard to cut your bars square to the tubing and have a clean cut with the bars on the bike and especially without a saw guide. This saw guide ensures that you get a nice straight clean cut that isn't at an angle every single time so that you can make sure that you cut off the right amount and do so safely with a guide. So you don't have to have it, but I highly recommend using a saw guide whenever you do this or getting a pipe cutter, which is a very self-explanatory process. So with that being said, let's finish up cutting this side of the bars and then wrap up the video. And there we have it. We have a perfect quarter inch piece of bar that is straight all the way around, cut off of our bars. So the next thing that we're going to do is maybe just put them through a little bit further 
And then we're gonna grab our file and we're gonna file all the way around just a little bit. And what we're doing here is just ensuring that there are no sharp edges on our bars. And a little bit further to go. And there we have it. So I'm gonna take it out of the saw guide here. You'll be able to see that we have a perfect clean cut the paint is a little bit filed from where we filed it down, but it is smooth and safe and ready to cut the other side and go back onto the bike. So once you get one side of your bars cut, the process for cutting the other side is extremely straightforward. You just take your tape measure and measure the exact amount that you cut off of the other side and mark it on this side. So we did a quarter inch on the other side. We're gonna do a quarter inch here. And an easy way to make sure that you're right here is you take the piece that you cut off of your other side and line it up with the end of the bars, making sure that your cut mark is exactly where this piece ends. To give you a good visual, I will add another line here. And there we go. So they line up perfectly from this angle. You can see it a little bit better. And all you have to do here is take your saw guide, install it onto the bars. And once your saw guide is installed onto the bars, you repeat the process that we've already went through with the other side. And that's gonna do it for this video on how to cut BMX handlebars using a hacksaw. If you can, I absolutely recommend that you get one of these Park Tool saw guides. There's a few different options available at different price points, and I absolutely recommend getting one of these because it makes it so easy to get a straight, clean cut that is exactly where you need it to be. And when it comes to the most important part of controlling where your bike goes, via the handlebars, I think that it's important to cut things the way that you need them to be cut. So with that, that's the end of this video. If you found it useful and learned something, let me know in the comments down below. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button down below as well. I come out with this tips and tricks video every Tuesday. I have a BMX news video that I come out with on Fridays and other types of riding videos and streams throughout the week. I want to thank you guys for being here and watching and we'll see you tomorrow for another video. Goodbye.